Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the editor of Workboat.com. I'm here on the show floor at the International Workboat Show 2012 with Doug Natosi. How you doing, Doug? Good, how about yourself? I'm doing really well. So we're here at uh, Brunswick and uh, you got a new boat to show us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Sure, we've gotten the message loud and clear from our Department of Defense and military uh, partners that we work with that we need to be greener, we need to evolve into what the common boat's doing. And um, I'm just like in the automotive side, you have to go greener, mm -hmm. that we need to increase strength, we need to increase our range for our boats, and we need to increase the overall performance while reducing cost. We took that message seriously and brought in all of our partners in the Brunswick Corporation from our recreational boat builders and our commercial side, brainstormed. And uh, this is the first generation of, of the new hull, which is 30% lighter to the exact same boat uh, a year ago that was made, mm -hmm. stronger, uh, lighter, so we increase your range or increase your fuel load or decrease your horsepower to give you the same performance that you had in the past. Sure, when people hear lighter, you know, they might worry about the ride. Is it gonna, you know, bounce all over the place? Does it need to have a little heft to stay down in the water? Well, we actually work that in with our, year, our endurance testing and what has to be done on the performance of the boat from the positioning where the fuel tanks are located on the boat, any ancillary equipment such as generators, where the T-tops may be located, where the payload may actually reside on board the boat is all worked in. But so far in the endurance testing, which is over 150 hours, uh, performance is exceeding our expectation uh, and about a 20% increase in overall top end speed. So you're lighter, greener, faster, and stronger. We're trying to hit that niche and so far we're doing it. Great, well let's get up on the boat and take a look sure. at it. So what are we looking at here, Doug? When they actually make the boat and we have the hull here, there's a complete one piece stringer system that is laid inside the boat. That stringer system is in a block shape. So when that is laid on and laminated down to the actual hull, it is then completely foam cored. So instead of having a single skinny stringer system in the boat, there's a wide stringer system, one piece permanently attached to the deck of the boat. So not only does it give you improved strength, it has built-in flotation because they're 100% foam cored. So if I breach my tube, breach my hull, I still have positive flotation on, on a rib platform right here, which is unheard of. Sure. Other thing it does, when you look inside, it's a complete class A finish. Just like on the outside where it's smooth, completely finished, the complete inside of the boat, below deck, same way. This keeps it clean, easier to keep it watertight, doesn't have scratching on your gear bags when the Navy throws in a bag and you're snagging on, on, on raw glass underneath. So everything that's in there, grease, oil, water, moves out just as quickly as it came in clean, more efficient, better for our cable runs, huge improvement in the industry. So Doug, I know you wanted to tell us a little bit about this infusion technology that you know, makes the boat be able to do some of the things that it can do. Sure, infusion's been around for years. What we've done on the standard infusion process is imp uh, improve how the resin actually fo flows through the foam coring on board the boat. So we go through a standard infusion process with the company's enhancement to it and our actual core product that goes through. So we get greater flow of the resin through the, the, the core material inside the boat, which means we use less resin but have greater strength because the way that resin has actually flowed through our core. Sure. Now, you know, you're telling me this is basically the first one of these in existence. Who, you know, who are your likely customers? Who do you think is going to really respond to this design? Sure. What you see right here, this boat is a standard eight and a half meter U.S. Navy EOD hull. Uh, the explosive ordnance guys have been using this hull for the last four years as we replace their entire fleet. But this hull itself is the first of its kind. But the message has been greater, lighter, farther range. And the reasons are, we have to go lighter because so much is done by air transportability as we mobilize our troops around the world. So if we can drop 30% weight, three boats, your fourth one's flying for what you basically had, uh, had before. Plus, you have that greater range. This will be introduced uh, around the country for the next 12 months. It's going to be going up to Carter Rock. We currently have samples that are up at the Navy right now. They're doing their own independent testing on what we've tested already. So we're very anxious to introduce this into the market and get it around the country this year. Great. Well, I'm sure people are excited to see it on the water, and I'm sure you'll be reporting uh, you know, when someone does latch on to it. So thanks so much for the tour today, Doug. Thank Appreciate you for it. for being here. And thanks all you for watching. We'll see you next time on workboat.com.